So, Don, you uh, you covered uh, Fashion Week. Tell us I what's did. what's the hot fashion for spring. Um, there were so many fabulous things on the runways. Um, there were a lot of sheer items, like sheer see-through kind of stuff with layers. Now you have to. What do you wear? See, this is always the thing. What do you wear under something like that? You <laughs> yeah, because you suddenly you, you suddenly got my attention. <laughs> yeah, of course, right? <laughs> um, it's actually uh, uh, what they do is they. Um, they layer other lighter pieces. So okay. the similar fabrics, those sheer kind of fabrics, there'll be two or three layers of them when you're going to wear them like in real life. Okay. You want to kind of put a few different of the same style layers underneath them so it works really well. Um, they're also doing them over, you know, if the top is a little bit more sheer, they're doing like a cute little, I would say like a bustier kind of top underneath. Okay. To still give it that effect, but um, obviously not. And a little sexy, yes. I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Of course. Is that something um, you can wear to work? Uh, don't... I would probably not wear it to work. I'd wear it more for like cocktails out, evening kind of stuff. Unless you work weekend. at Flash Dancers or something like that, <laughs> then you're okay. <laughs> and then it's tax deductible. Exactly. Then you just wear pasties under it, you're good to go. Perfect, right? Yes. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, there were, oh gosh, there were so many uh, floral prints, obviously, for spring, kept coming up. Um, really bright, super bright neons. Mm-hmm. Every, really? Almost every single designer put <sighs> neons on the runway. I mean, bright pink, bright yellow, orange. They were just like a, a continued. Uh, every single show I went to, I saw them come down the runway. Whether it's tough it was to a dress pull those colors or, off. I know it is. You know what I say? If you're going to do them, only incorporate one piece into your, in, in, you know, into the look. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing, if you wanted to do a bright, really popping orange top, go for a really neutral pair of pants, a khaki kind of color, a taupe color, to really play off of that bright neon. So it, it makes it a lot more wearable for the day. And you don't look like a work. traffic cone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Um, also for those colors, if you really are afraid to do them. Um, you know, go for a bag, a handbag, a pair of shoes, the little accessories, so that we're still working the trend oh, into sure. your wardrobe, but don't feel overwhelmed by it and feel like, oh my God, I'm this bright pink, you know, dress. And, and Donna, are we moving away from the gladiator look for the shoes? I think so. I think every, I mean, I feel like it continued the fall um, runways, like Mark Jacobs showed a lot of ladylike styles, and the spring, there were just like this overwhelming amount of more really full skirts and really feminine heels. Um, so I think we definitely are moving away. I didn't really see any gladiator sandals on the runways. Um, few, a few wedge-style shoes, mm-hmm. um, a lot of heels. Love a good wedge. Yeah. I know. It's so <laughs> nice to have a girl and a guy on the show. I wish sometimes I got to be the girl on the show, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's all about the gladiator sandals. Yeah. I'm surprised. Not many well, got, yeah, guys kind of aren't big fans of gladiators. Not usually. No. They're not sexy. I think they're things that girls like, but guys don't really exactly. find particularly girls, attractive. Exactly. Like, girls can't wait to wear them yes. guys are like oh why can't she have nice heels on? yes exactly because they're uncomfortable that's why so yeah, who did you exactly. see did you see some of the big stars there did you see who looked the best beyonce that were just in the audience and she, beyonce was there and she looked amazing uh, i'm trying to remember what show i saw her well she's got a little baby bump right uh don she got a big yeah, baby but you know what she was wearing um this really super short um skirt that was like a bubble style skirt and you can yeah. barely see her the you know her, her bump, bump which was i was surprised by i thought you would notice it more but it was a little bit disguised i think she was still going for that you know fashion week look sure. where everybody yeah. at fashion week is here's you know. here's the thing that's really disturbing that bump is richer than all of us i know <laughs> it's sad <laughs> and and it got to go to its first fashion show too <laughs> that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty amazing you know <laughs> so you know what for the for those of us who don't know what to wear for the fall what should we be doing now that the weather's turning cooler I, I mean, right now, chunky knits are big. Um, chunky knit sweaters, heavy sweaters. Um, but wearing them with a, um, a flowy skirt, something a little bit more lighter. So there's kind of like... I want to call it like a juxtaposition of like the really heavy sweaters, but then like lighter on the bottom, um, looser kind of uh, wider leg pants go great with them. But they're really, I mean, that's like the hot item to have is these chunky knits with like a, a really flowy feminine skirt. Excellent. Uh, everybody's doing them. I'm thinking about a nice, like, something from Max Asria with a sequin, yeah. something like that. You are. I love it. I, actually, <laughs> I'm a huge BCBG Max Azria fan, so. Max and I are just like this. 
<laughs> and there, I mean, actually, something like from from BCBG or from Max Azir, they, um, it, it's a nice way to combine because their stuff is really super fitted, and um, to do like a heavier sweater would work so well with it. So I think that would be right. And and one yeah. final question, Don, in a, in a fist fight, who would win, Don or um, Tim Gunn? Who would win? Me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> in a second. <laughs> He'd be laying on the floor going, make it work. <laughs> <laughs> it's our uh, on-air fashion expert, our beauty spokesperson, and lifestyle stylist. Everybody, it's Dawn Del Russo. Her website address is dawndelrusso.com. Dawn, thanks for talking with us. Thank you so much. It was great.